Okay, everybody, we're going to come to order. It's uh, 6.39. Oh, six no. oh, that clock. Is yeah, 6.35. 6.35, all right. And uh, for the sake of our uh, minute taker, we're going to just go around the room and I'll say our names for attendance. I'll start. Dick Vandenberg. Sandy Kuypers. Heather Morin. Carol Gawlinski. Lynn Mazzoli. Howard D'Amico. Jean Lovett. Who was a non-voting member, I right? I am a non-voting member. So, do you all have your agendas in front of you? Everybody? Yes. Do? Okay. So we were called to order at uh, 635. So our second item says review and vote recommendations on board articles for the special town meeting. November 8, 2021. So we've already voted on the articles for the warrant, but this is the time if anybody has any last minute questions or comments uh, before we actually go into the town meeting. Or, Gene, do you have anything you want to share with the group? I do not. Okay. Anybody have any comments or questions on the warrant? So if somebody asks a question about it, we're all able to speak to the public about it. Well, sure I think they ask you. you. <laughs> At the time we were, but we'll just all sit there and nod. We, we say, Dick's got it. Yeah. All right. He just yep. pulled a teacher on us. <laughs> I think the, um, the only one he maybe asked is Article 12, right. because there was one um, Essential. Yeah, that's the one that people will ask. Yeah, Phil's not here right now. So. Is he coming? I hope so. I haven't heard from anyone. Okay. They're not coming. So. All right, so we're all set with the second item on our agenda then? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, the third agenda item is the minutes of September 14, which I emailed to you last week. Mm -hmm. So can we look at those? There was a little bit of editing just because um, Stephanie, who typed them up, some of the times and some spellings needed to be corrected, which I did, and I checked with her and she was fine with them. So, uh, so we have any comments or questions on FinCom meeting Tuesday, September 14th? Make a motion to accept the uh, Finance Committee meeting minutes of September 14, 2021, as written. Okay, so Sandy moves that we accept those minutes. Is there a second? Second. Heather mm -hmm. seconds. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I abstain. I was not here. Lynn Missouli abstains. Okay, you were not here, right? And Dick, I have to abstain as well. And our is abstained yeah. also. So. Of the people who voted, it was unanimous. All right. Um, does anybody have an issue with us meeting on January 11 as our next meeting? I know you're maybe not looking ahead into 2022 yet. But. So, Gene, in your your opinion, we don't really need to meet between now and January 11. I don't see a need right. to. I don't know if the finance committee feels the need. Not really. I think I don't. Right. So Howard, as you think back of other years, was there anything in that gap between the special town meeting and when January comes that we need to go over? Only occasionally, I think, when we had what I thought were larger school-related issues growing, and I don't know that at the moment we have anything like that on the horizon. Okay. Yeah. Would this be okay with everybody then that our next meeting will be tentatively the 11th of January, but if something comes up beforehand, I'll let you know. Is that a Tuesday? Yep. Yes. Okay. And if we need to meet, we will. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. I just had one question. Okay, Sandy. Yes, pertaining to the contract for school, they said there would be an update at the, so we are not going to get an update then. It's January. still ongoing. It's ongoing. It's okay. Ongoing. Okay. Thank you. No updates. Okay. And, and if that's okay, I, I would give a presentation or at least a quick overview on free cash at that time. On January 11th? Yeah. Okay. And discuss the budget schedule. Okay. And then one other item I'd like to mention yeah. is um, 
there was talk about getting us email addresses so that we could get the budget. Um, you mean that Google thing? That yes, that was right, right, because we couldn't see the budget right. because he had trouble with permissions. Yeah, permissions. So is that going to be something that happens that we get a Google whatever so that we can? Um, maybe we can put town administrator update at that meeting okay. as well, and okay. we can ask those. I mean, I think that's related to the overall budget mm -hmm. schedule. Yes. Because when you see it and how you can access it, so we can talk about that. Okay, that's very good. good. Thank you. Howard? Dick, I just suspect at the moment I will not be available for the January 11th meeting, okay. but I still think it's something for the calendar. Works. We will try to carry on in your apps. I would appreciate it. Sure. There's no Red Sox game. No. <laughs> <laughs> not, right? Are the there are colleges the, that are the pass in the Super Bowl that night. Kids uh, have to be brought to. Oh, minor details. Yeah, yeah. right? Hello? Hello. All right, let the minutes show that uh, Phil Andre appeared at 641. <laughs> Phil, did you get a chance to talk to Matt about that eminent domain issue? Um, I did. Is that helpful? It was partially helpful. It was not conclusory. I guess. So, I for instance, tonight, the warrant will, mid, will mention that it was a six to one or seven to one vote on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Sorry. And if, if you're asked to explain your one vote against, would you be able to do that? I think so. Okay. Yeah. It, it, probably more in the form of a question than an answer for everybody. Right? Okay. Um, can you give us just a two-minute summary of what you got back and forth with Matt on that? Yeah, so as I understand it, that lot, that area that's being developed, had parcel A owned by someone, parcel B owned by someone. And they were, according to all intent and purposes, were the landowners to deal with. Um, Owner A thought he gifted some of his property to the town. And then whoever bought it or however they're packaging it up, which, which I'm, we haven't been really privy to per se, that, that gifted land and the A and B properties all go together to make this developable land. So turns out that A, when they did the survey, based on his plot plan, doesn't really include the land that he gifted. So he doesn't have any property rights to gift it, per se, so it's, the gift is null and voided from how I understand it. Property owner B doesn't have any documents that clearly detail that person owning that little in chunk of land. It's actually like three, three point something acres. It's not a small thing. So in essence, what we have is an orphan piece of land or an undeeded piece of property. And now the question is how to, you know, get that back in. Is I think property owner A, their intent was to actually gift it anyway, even if it was there. So we know that property owner A won't have any issues, or should right? I guess I don't know if they have heirs or whatever. But property owner B, however, I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's what we haven't heard all, all of, and and so. Um, I'm totally, you know, as a person who was on the Economic Development Committee before, totally for uh, economic development, of, you know, the, the distribution of taxes throughout the businesses and everything for the landowners. So I think I'm all for it. I just, um, I'm not a big fan of, you know, whipping around the whole uh, eminent domain thing. And, and so now this, all the stuff that I've heard so far, it complicates it even further. So if someone can explain to me clearly how it makes sense of what they're doing, then I might, I might, I might even change my vote. I'm, I don't know. I haven't heard enough information to, to make an answer either way. So Matt wasn't able to clarify that order B part very much. Then. No, it, 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 so. Well, to the best of my understanding, that piece of land is undeeded, untitled land. So that now, what is the procedure to get it to be deeded titled? Someone has to own it. You can't. You can't do an eminent domain from the heir, right? Eminent domain just means you're taking it from someone. Right. It has to have an owner. Well, right now, it doesn't have an owner. 
Well, you, it would probably cost you an arm and a leg to do a title search yeah, I'm, all the way Well, I mean, let me, let me kind of okay. go ahead, Karen, go what for my it. understanding of it is. Make it make sense. There's a portion of this property that was deeded over to the town, gifted to the town, yep. who heck knows why, back in Tax right 1920 up. or something, a long time ago. And in the deeds, it even refers to the fact that it that it is abutting other land that had been previously gifted to the town by these same people. Sure. Well, come to find out, a deed had been uh, written, but it had never been signed or recorded, probably by mistake of the attorney that was handling it at the time. Uh, I, I don't even think the deed was signed, but the deed was written, but it had never been signed or recorded. So now what it is is there's this chunk of land in the middle there. In the last 60 or 70 years, uh, many people have died. So now there's not just one owner, there's probably 18 because they're all heirs. The problem that you run into with that is a lot of people never probate their estates because they don't have anything to probate. You know, if your husband and wife you own the house, you don't have to probate it. People move out of the state. If you have to probate their estates, you've got to go to the state they died in, okay? And I've had to do that when I bought property. I found property exactly like this, that people never knew they owned. It wasn't on the tax rolls, stuff like that. I had to go to New York and probate estates, okay? What's good about a town is they can take it by eminent domain, which clears the title. The title's now clear, okay? Now, they'll come up with a price on it, it's going to be pretty easy to figure out what the price is because they're selling similar land right there to this big company. So will they have to pay more than a dollar eventually? Yes, they will. Okay, they will have to pay more than a dollar for this, this piece of, of land. But they're also getting money for it already from this big company that wants to put the, the warehouse yeah. there. So in the end, okay, we've got to put the money aside. When these heirs all come out of the woodwork, they will have to be cons you know, compensated. Uh, at this point, we're not putting a figure on it because it's just easier and cleaner just to take it by eminent domain as a dollar and then leave the rest of it there. So it's a pretty, a pretty simple thing. And it's fortunate that the town is able to take it by eminent domain because nobody else can clear title like that. And there's no guarantee that heirs will suddenly appear. Right, and there's no guarantee that one of them would decide to try to negotiate with them. Got 17 that are willing to sell and one says something. Mm -hmm. You know, it, or if you can find them. Sometimes yeah. you can't even find them. Although yeah. today with internet, it's a lot easier to find people. Mm -hmm. So that is my take on what I believe okay. that I know of. How long has this property been being discussed as a potential land? Well, we only found out within the last few months about this little uh, uh, little problem in the middle of it. Because we were always under the assumption that it was owned by the town. So that came up kind of, when, the, when they really started uh, buckling down and doing the title search, which would have been, you know, the person who's buying the land gets in there, their attorneys get in and buckle down and do the title search. That's when this little thing showed up. So I think this is the, easiest way right. to do it. Yeah, no, I, I agree that it's expedient without a doubt. I just, again, I, I'm always back to the same thing. It's how do you take eminent domain from there's no owner? <laughs> Where, who are you taking it from? Well, you're taking the eminent domain of the property, okay? Now it's up to the owners to, to come. That happens all the time. When they do these highways and stuff, they come through a lot of that stuff. They have no idea, especially when they get it. They have no idea. But when they did 146, back then, you didn't have all these maps like we have today. They came through and took a lot of land by them until they didn't know what it belonged to. It's, it's not an unusual thing. And that's the thing. You can do it through a town. But you couldn't do it yourself as a person. Okay. All right. Thank you. And so there may be more discussion on that at the town meeting itself. No? All right. Um, but do you guys know that Massachusetts ranks next to last in property rights in the country? <laughs> and this is the uh, this is the state that we all tout as the birthplace of Merkel, right? 
Property rights are so, so important. This Constitution was written with, with specific um, uh, language to, to have due process for things like this. So sometime, Howard, we'll have a little seminar about common law versus civil law. Fantastic. Okay. Right? No, I totally oh, understand. Lead. I totally understand there's two of them, and I know where we are right now. But yeah. I, I just, um, again, the attorney you don't have to agree with everything, right? Yeah, I like it. I like it. Right? Would uh, probably agree on ninety-five percent, though. I, I would like that. The attorney what? versus the history sure. teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, we don't have to agree on everything. That's a great thing. It doesn't have to be a you. Could... What else you got, Dick? I got uh, number five in our agenda, which is open session for topics not reasonably anticipated. Anybody have a thing we need to talk about tonight that came up last minute? So Phil, don't make it cut you short, but you do have to get. No, no, I totally get it. I'm not. I'm not feeling uh, at all slighted. All right. Anybody have anything for us? So where we stand is. Oh, by the way, I did get um, minutes from Sandy on the executive committee or our executive session. I'm just going to hang on to those until it gets resolved with the school, and then we can go public with it. So, would someone make a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. All right. Bill Landry moves that we adjourn. Seconded by? Second. Sandy, did you second that? Yes. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. All in favor of adjourning, say aye. 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 Opposed? We adjourn to our special town meeting. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, Dave. Aye.